Hi children, how are you? Hope all you are fine and safe. Welcome to our session. The last session we discuss about cl cloud computing and types of clouds. Today we are going to discuss about blockchain technology. The blockchain technology is uh, depending upon the financial transactions. A blockchain technology is a distributed ledger across a peer-to-peer -peer network. Ledger is storing all the transactions. We can discuss this with example. Okay. A financial transaction or ledger is not a centralized location in a, like a bank, but it is distributed and is available to all connected clients. Every transaction details uh, is sent to all the connected clients. This transaction details is known as block. Each new block is chained with earlier existing blocks. For, uh, it's a chain and so it is known as blockchain to form a distributed ledger. Example, we can discuss example as a, uh, like an example. Hassan and Nitin were friends, hence their school days. During their adulthood, they were also doing business together. All of their financial transactions took place through ABCD Bank. Well, both Hassan, Nidin and their clients made financial transactions. One day, some common client of Hassan and Nidin had their financial data from the bank and forged it. It led to heavy loss and the trust violation of clients. After some time, Hassan and Nitin decided to continue the same business. But this time, they decided that every time a financial transaction would take place, each connected client would get a printed copy of it. So, all connected clients would get a printed copies of uh, each financial transaction taking place and thus would have their own copy of ledger containing details of all financial transactions. Every time a new transaction takes place, all available financial data is compared with the existing ledger. Ledger means the copy of transactions. If they match, the transaction is considered valid. Every client uh, have the copy and in every client uh, the transactions are matching, then only it considered as valid. This happens all clients at least. So, if someone tries to fork data, then it da its data will not match all copies of decentralized distributed ledger available with all clients and thus will be rejected. Hassan and Nitin are happy with the secure form of financial transaction. So are their clients. Factors example it in the new nowadays we are using blockchain technology it is not a centralized a centralized technology it is distributed or decentralized okay then we will discuss more about blockchain technology the block then we can discuss now what are the key terms in blockchain technology? First one, blockchain technology. It is a decentralized, digitalized, public ledger of each of online transactions occurring among a network of peers. Okay.
game. The here it means it every connected purple are con uh, having the uh, authority. All the connected people are the authority for deciding it is uh, the transactions are valid or not. Next one block. Block refers to a secure data chunk that stores encrypted details of a valid transaction that has occurred online. A block consists of two parts header which is a public which is public to all and private details of transaction accessible only to the owner of the block. Blo next is blockchain. It is the group of linked blocks which are related to each other and are in a proper linear chronological order. It stores the complete trials of transaction. Next, public ledger. All confirmed transactions linked blocks since the first transaction are available in the form of blockchain are called public ledger. Then mining. It is the process of confirming the transaction after validation and adding to the public ledger. P2P network or peer-to-peer -peer network. It is the type of network used in blockchain technology. It is a distributed net a distribution network where each participant computer within the network maintains approved and updates the new entry each participant has equal power okay then how blockchain work technology works you know that a block is a secure data chunk storing encrypted details uh, encrypted means using cryptography technology the details are uh, changing into another format and the uh, user uh, any other users can't uh, access or hackers can't access that data okay of valid transaction a block is created when a user initiates a transaction. It stores the encrypted details of the transaction taking place. A block gets connected with blockchain as a permanent database only after validation. A blockchain contains numerous linked blocks which are related to each other in a proper linear chronological order. Each block contains a hash of the previous block. Hashing is a strong encrypting mechanism. Hashing not only encrypts, it makes for fraudulently impossible because hashing cannot be reversed. Thus, a blockchain has complete information about different user addresses as well as their balance right from the origin set to the very recent completed block. Every node of the P2P network has access the blockchain. The blockchain technology ensures that all transactions all are always available since its creation and no transaction can be deleted. Blockchains have found their application in, in healthcare, voting mechanism, banking sector, finance, asset management, insurance claim processing 
passports, pro uh, property registration, and many more. Okay, this figure is uh, explains how the technology works. Someone requests a transaction, then it will go to the here P2P network consisting of computers known as nodes. This request transaction is broadcasted to here. Then validation process. Well, validation process means the network of nodes validates the transaction and the user status is known algorithms. Then a verified transaction can be involved. Cryptocurrency contains records or other information. Cryptocurrency means that in uh, blockchain technology we are using another type of currency. That not, it, it is not just like our uh, rupees or dollars or anything. Any uh, thing. It is a digital uh, currency. Uh, like uh, for example uh, Bitcoin is the for uh, it's the first uh, Bitcoin is first cryptocurrency. This cryptocurrency uh, for blockchain technology we are using cryptocurrency. Okay, once valid the transaction is com computed. Uh, sorry, co uh, combined combined with other transactions to create new block of data for the ledger here. Then. The new block is then added to the existing blockchain in a way that uh, is permanent and unalterable. Okay. Then the transaction is completed. Clear? Everybody clear? Okay. Now let's talk about benefits of blockchain technology. In it increased time effectiveness due to the real time transaction. Direct transactions eliminate the overheads and intermediary cost, reduce risk related to cyber crimes, frauds, and tampering. More transparent process. Proper record creation and tracking. Hi, sorry. Highly secure due to cryptographic and decentralized blockchain protocols. Then, types of blockchain. There are mainly four types of blockchain. <laughs> Consortium blockchains. Semi private, private blockchains, private blockchains, and public blockchains. Okay, then consortium blockchain. In this blockchain, the uh, conscious process is controlled by a pre selected group. Example, a group of uh, corporations okay then next is semi private blockchain in this type of blockchain are run by a single company that grants any user who satisfy pre established criteria private blockchain these are controlled by a single organization that determines who can read it, submit transaction to it, and participate in a conscious process. Public blockchains. Anyone can read a public blockchain, send transaction to it, or participate in the consent process. They are considered to be permissionless blockchains. Every transaction is public and users can remain anonymous too. 
okay i think you understand uh, the topics which we covered today and uh, study well uh, read the textbook well if you have any doubts you can ask to me thank you